Hi everyone, Michelle here from The Creative Cove. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. Uh, today I wanted to do a little quickie sketch video um, on daffodils. Uh, it's January, sorry, it's February here and uh, the middle of deep winter in Ontario and I am craving some green and some yellow and just some inspiration for spring. So I thought I might doodle some daffodils and I've been practicing a little bit here just so I can uh, demonstrate how to do it for you guys. And uh, again, my cookie sketches are all about um, capturing form very quickly. So if you're into learning how to sketch something, uh, the idea is just to be relaxed and um, have some fun with your pencil, your pencil crayons, whatever you have handy. Um, I do like to work on coffee dyed paper. It's just my go-to when I'm journaling. Uh, so I draw these and then put them as uh, inserts in in um, my journals. Um, I'm also thinking about selling my my handmade uh, my hand drawings on my Etsy shop if I uh, can get organized enough. But I, I think an original drawing to add to a journal could be a, a nice addition. So, anyways, let's get started on a daffodil. So I'm hoping you guys are zoomed in. I'm gonna just open my coffee dyed paper here and uh, let's do some uh, quick, quickie sketch. So I use my my go-to, which is a 0 0.7 lead. That's the size of the lead and it's a standard HB mechanical pencil and my trusty old eraser. So let's start with a pretty simple shape. Um, we're just gonna do like a roughly circle. So more of an oval so if you're you're not confident on your ovals you can draw a light oval let's see if i can bring you in just a little more and try and keep you in frame here so you can draw a light oval and then you can do a squiggly line around that oval so what we're doing is instead of looking at the flower straight on we're looking at the flower almost sideways completely sideways so and i'll show you what that means in a minute so then i'm going to draw a line right here and this is the inside of the tube of a daffodil. And it will come together in a second, what I mean. So now I'm gonna draw the tube itself. So I'm gonna draw the little tube here and it rounds out at the bottom. And now I'm gonna give it its petals. So I wanna create some three dimension. I don't wanna just give it some simple petals. I wanna give it some form. So the petals I know grow out from the base of that little tube. And I'm gonna wiggle some lines back, almost a heart shape. And then I'm gonna just curve it up a little like that. That's gonna be kind of like a, um, sorry, let me redo that, that was wrong. So I'm gonna do my little heart shape and then I'm gonna curve under like that and then up. So that this, this little petal that's growing towards us is curving up right here. Okay, so there's that. Let's do another one over here. So I'm gonna pull away from the center and then curve it back and maybe curve right here. So I go around out to a point back to the center. There's one tucked back here that we can't fully see because it's behind this. So we'll just indicate a petal there. We'll do one coming out the side here. So I'm gonna put it underneath this petal. So I start the line back here scoop up same same idea and then just roll it back to the center and then of course there'll be another one back here we just draw a line up and back and you can pause my video and resketch and and play with it until you get the form you're looking for because these shapes are kind of hard to describe as a shape so it's more of a practice so now I'm gonna just give my flower a little bit of texture. So I'm gonna pull up from the center. So whenever you're drawing something and you wanna capture its form, you really have to observe things like the direction it's growing in. So the, this grows up and these grow out. So I'm just gonna indicate a little bit of texture on these leaves by going in the same direction that the leaves are growing. So this one's going up, so I'm gonna go up like that. And this one's going up. And now I wanna indicate what this part is by putting some shading in. And you see, I'm, I'm holding my pencil way back here because I'm just, I'm very loose. I don't wanna, 
I'm not putting serious detail into this flower. I just wanna capture the form real quick. So give it a little bit more scribble here just to indicate a little bit more of a ruffle. Really darken here where the flower goes in like that. And I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow underneath the ruffle here just to try and pop that, this lighter bit forward. And then just real nice, nice loose scribbling. I'm gonna darken up inside in here, just where the light wouldn't penetrate as easily. Don't wanna to go too dark. And I'm gonna just indicate a little bit of shadow in here. Maybe a little bit in here, a little bit underneath. And if you overdo it, you just take your eraser. So I'm sorry if the camera shakes. It's attached to the table here. And I'm just gonna lighten up that center just a little bit. Okay. So now we've captured the flower. I think I'll darken this petal back here. It's getting a little lost against this. I feel like I've gone a little bit too dark. So let's lighten it up. Just take my eraser back and clarify the form a little bit. Sometimes it gets a little muddy and you can lose it. And you just take your eraser and bring it back. And that's, you know, part of the learning curve of, of sketching is where to put the, the shading, how to apply it without going too muddy, too dark, too fast. And that just comes with practice. Okay, so I think I'll make this guy a little bit more pronounced back here. I feel like he's a little short. There we go. So as you sketch, you can make these adjustments. You made a petal too short, too long, you can change it. So now we're gonna put the stem in. So the stem would come through here and down. So daffodils tend to have these little kind of fat tops and then narrower stems. So I'm gonna make a wider section here and then thin out the stem a little bit. And there's the stem. And we can give it a leaf. So they have these long leaves that are so exciting to see come springtime. They're the first thing that kind of pop up in my garden and I'm so happy to see them. So I just draw a line up, I stop at the petal, continue behind the petal. This leaf I'm gonna have crossover, so I'm gonna bring it back to here, and then I'm gonna bring the back end out here. So the, the leaf's kind of twisting as it grows. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of texture in that. Clean this line up a little bit, because it's in front and it shouldn't be. So there's one leaf and then we'll maybe, oops, we'll do another little short one here. So I'm just gonna kind of wiggle a line up. I don't want perfect lines, perfection's boring as far as I'm concerned. And then I'm just gonna pull. So the, you, you don't just give it a straight line, you kind of move your pencil as you go. The only thing you wanna pay attention to is the width up here should be narrower than the width down here. And then we'll just give that a little bit of texture. And there's our first daffodil. So pretty simple in the sense of once you, you can understand the, the shape that it grows. And if you have a daffodil handy, put it in front of you by all means, or have a picture of one because having a reference really, really helps when it comes to drawing. So let's maybe do a little bundle of, um, of daffodils, something, you know, like we could, uh, do a couple that haven't opened yet. Um, we could do a couple facing in different directions. Uh, so let's do one here where it's a little bit more, so you can see in the original here, it's we're looking at it sideways, which is why we can't see inside the flower. So now let's change the perspective a little bit. I'm gonna make sure I've got you. I'm sorry, I have to keep my paper on an angle. So, all right. So let's do that shape again. So this time we're gonna do more of a circle because we're looking more directly at the flower. And then I'm gonna give it my ruffled edge. Just wiggle my pencil around that circle. 
And then I'm gonna do another circle in here. And then it's gonna have the stamen, I guess, which is the little pollinating part of the flower. So we'll keep that light and I'm just gonna pull away. So you see how I'm not going up and down like this. I'm pulling around like this because the flower opens up and grows in that direction. So I wanna darken in here where the light is not gonna to get to it very easily. And then I'm gonna slowly pull the lines out all the way around, nice and slow, and just slowly building up my shading to the point where it folds out like that, where the flower is now opened up. Okay, so we can give it a couple of indications of lines up here where the ruffles will fold over themselves. And this is, uh, you know, the pretty standard type daffodil. There's all kinds of different breeds that have many beautiful shapes and forms, but I'm just drawing the most common one here. And once you've learned how to kind of contour and capture shapes of petals and things like that, there's really no flower you can't draw after that. So I'm gonna start with my first petal. I'm gonna bring it back. So proportion wise, you want the petals to be relatively close to this size, if not just a little bit smaller. If you draw a big petal like this, it's gonna look completely out of proportion and we don't want that. So just double checking I'm in frame here, sorry. The camera's below my head. All right, so there's the first petal. I'm doing the same thing. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of texture. And you can see I'm pulling my pencil in that direction that it grows in the form, to capture that form. And let's do the next petal down here. And so I'm doing my front petals first. The ones that tuck behind I'll do after. So same kind of semi-heart shape. I'm gonna put a little bit of shading underneath the flute here and just pull out the texture. And then the one behind can come in now. You could do something fun where you curve it like that and then draw the line. So now this part of the, of the petal has curved over on itself. And just those little details add a world of realism to your drawings. And again, it's just practicing observation. So another one, let's do this one. He's out front here and they have six petals, this style of uh, this breed of da dandelion, dandelion, daffodil. So again, just repeating the process with my petals. Maybe uh, another one here and we'll maybe curve the top of that one. So I'm just gonna scribble it in. I don't wanna go too dark. You could throw some pencil crayon in here. That would be really nice, especially against the coffee dye. I don't know why I am drawn to the coffee dye. I think it just gives it that antique look that I really am drawn to. So there's the daffodil facing us. So if you want to pop the center even more, you can just darken a few spots just at the base of the petals. And you can see just adding that little bit of dark pops the center of the flower. You just wanna, you don't wanna create a complete halo of dark around, so you wanna slowly pull that up. Okay. All right, so there's it facing us. So the same thing we want, we go back, uh, follow the center of the flower and go back and follow it down so that we know we have the stem in the right place. So there's the stem. And it, of course, tucks behind the petal. All right, so that's one. Let's do uh, one that hasn't opened yet. So composition now, instead of just starting with the head, I wanna, I wanna try and figure out where I want the next flower to be so that it makes a nice drawing. So I think I'll do one, I think I'll do one down here. So this one we're gonna do that's not completely open. So we're gonna do an oval type shape where it's narrower at one end and wider at the other. And then we're gonna give it its stem. So we're gonna go down like that. And then behind this one, we'll put it behind. 
and then the stem. So it's a little bit wider here because they have this uh, kind of like a dry peel thing that comes off. So this pulls away from the stem, this dry bit. Um, I have a pressed one here somewhere. So here it is here. This is the piece that pulls away. And uh, as the flower opens more, I guess it's like a protective covering. And then as the flower opens, this dry brown part peels away from the stem. So that's what this is. So we'll just put that in. And now we're gonna give the, the detail to these, um, to the daffodil that's closed up tight. So all these ruffles and all these petals are wrapped in together. And the way we're gonna do that is just create some contour lines. So what's important here is you're not gonna go straight across like this. You're gonna curve your line. And then eventually we'll get to the top here and we'll indicate some ruffles where this part of the flower is all tucked in really tight. And maybe uh, another petal right here that hasn't quite opened. So there's the daffodil that has not opened yet. And we'll just put a little scribbling in to again in indicate some shading and some texture. And there's the daffodil that hasn't opened. So let's do one more. Let's do another one going up here like this. Drew behind this one. And then we'll do it right here. So this one will have maybe semi-opened. So we're gonna create the ruffle. And this time we're gonna do that oval, similar to the other one we did. We're gonna do a little oval here, and then we're gonna ruffle it. And then we're gonna indicate the little bit of the tube, but this tube's gonna be covered because the petal is gonna come from the base and cover it because the petals haven't completely opened yet. They're still tight to the, to the um, center here. So let's put the center in just so you can follow where the middle of the plant is. I find to do the center of the flower first and it really helps me develop where the petals go after that. So just gonna do the same thing we did on as the first sketch. We're gonna fill in that center. So now you know that the flower is facing this way. We're looking down this way. And we're gonna give it another petal over here. So they're all gonna attach, if we were to draw this right here to the base of this tube. And then there'll be another one tucked in behind. And again, not fully open. There, this flower's just starting to open. And then we'll do one here. And then maybe just a subtle indication of the one in the back, because we might not see that very well. So same thing as we did, those, those contour lines to indicate texture and shading. And again, these are just quickie sketches, nice and loose. Don't stress if you, uh, if you screw it up like I did, you know, you just find your eraser and you clean it up. And that's really all there is to it. Sorry, camera's shaking. And you just, this is a great way to practice and you're gonna find like some of them you're gonna get really well right away and others you're gonna find frustrating and you're gonna find what you do like to sketch and what you don't like to sketch. That's another fun one. So there we go, there's uh, how to draw a daffodil. And I think what we'll do is we'll put, um, we'll put some petals in. Let me just finish off that. So let's, uh, it's not petals, sorry, leaves. So we'll do a leaf through here. Click on my pencil. And a leaf down here. Let's do a nice big leaf up here. And there's your daffodil. Let me just clean up this edge a little bit. Oops. Maybe I wanna pull this petal up just a little bit. Lighten this. So you see, even, even as I'm like drawing myself, I'll I'll see things that I'll want to change as I go. There we go. 
nice and loose, quick, easy, nice little reference to a daffodil. Go oh, great in a little journal. Um, do we want another? Let's do, let's maybe do a, so you can see how it's done, um, a bent piece of, uh, they usually don't bend, but sometimes they get a little beaten up from the weather. So we can put a little curve on it like that, just so you can see that it bends over and gives the little, little composition some interest as well. So there you go. That's how to draw a quickie sketch on a daffodil. And I hope uh, you enjoyed that. I hope that you give it a try and do some sketches for your journals. Have fun with them. Uh, any flowers that uh, appeal to you. Anything you do want to see drawn too, just uh, send me a little comment in the YouTube channel and um, I'll be happy to put together some sketches for you. So uh, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Bye.